Today we're going to put together some really expensive looking fashions with things we found in the jewelry section at the dollar store. No sewing necessary, coming up after this. I've been planning to do this video for a very, very long time. I think I bought this three years ago. This is the inspiration. These colors have always been something that I really liked, even though I tend to just wear gray myself or some army green every once in a while. Black and white and gray is what I prefer to wear, but I guess that's not true. I prefer to wear brown and I love I love these colors. And I live in Canada and the best thing about Canada, besides the Dollarama, where I got all of this stuff from, are the seasons. As much as I love summer, I really am a summer person. I was born to be a surfer, I just was born in the wrong place. Now the weather seems to be getting colder, I, I don't know if that's true or not. It's still quite warm here in Canada, but we definitely do have four distinct seasons and fall is always welcomed. Everything's more fresh and these colors I think reflect that. So this is a, the magic trick to making fashions. So what are these? They call them head wraps. I don't know what these are exactly are used for. I guess you put these on. I see people wash their face when they have these on, on their hair. I guess that's what it's for. What I do, you might have seen some of these videos before that I make. I don't know how much detail I'm going to get into here, but you can go back and look at some of my other videos where I have done more of these makeovers if you want to see in depth on how to turn each bracelet into a belt and all the other weird things that I'm going to do in this video. But I cut open the tube and the trick, the simple trick to all of this is we just pull on this like a tube dress and it's gonna be tube tops and tube skirts and that is what we're basing things on and it's the accessories that will take these to the next level. And I try to find thinner ones. Thinner ones work better because they'll be tighter on the doll. So that is why these ones seemed so perfect. Did I mention that I found these about three years ago and wanted to make this video for about three years? So the basics to this is that automatically we end up with this really nice dress instantly. It also gives a natural little roll up at the end. Some of them work out better than others. Some of them don't do the roll. It depends on the individual fabrics that you're using. Some will roll, some will stay the same. This one is rolling. I'm noticing that this one pills a little more. This isn't the best quality, but they're nice and thick and they look like woolens. So these are all gonna be these woolen separates. The problem that I have with this is I never know what length to make each dress. And I have told myself before I started this video, I'm just gonna make six long dresses and then I'll decide and then I'm gonna cut them. Some I'll cut into pieces or I'll just use the leftover piece from the super long dresses as the separates. But you know what? I'm gonna do this. A little more background here, if you don't know. I really like the WWE bodies. They're WWE dolls and they just have really nice, tight, articulated joints and they're a little more athletic and curvy and not as thin and flimsy as the regular standard Barbie doll or not as broken up with their joints as the made to moves, which I don't really like. I just, I find made to move bodies a little too broken up. They look too robotic and really too thin. And I like how these girls have a little more curve to them. And these heads are from the latest beach line from Barbie. So they're nice, basic, not too crazy, everyday girls, which I also love. I mean, I love the crazy haired fashionistas, but it is nice to have some everyday girls with really pretty faces. Check out her. I know she's a fan favorite. And my diorama was made from stuff from the dollar store. And these stands are also made from the dollar store. I used coat hanger clips. I took them off and then I cut off the tops of paper towel holders. And then I lined them with felt because they were really sharp inside. And that's what I use to display my dolls. Okay, so we have our first long green army dress. That's really nice. Let's uh, 
make some more. Okay, things are turning out all right. We're looking like a Colors of Benetton ad right now. I didn't use much brown, which probably I should have, but I got some more brown that's being incorporated. But this is what we're looking at. It's everybody's in these woolens. We've got two long woolen dresses. I probably really wanted to keep this a short skirt, but I have to have an example of a long skirt and it will complement the longer dresses. So I chose to have two gowns, woolen gowns, and then we have the two separates, and then I put a shorter dress on her. See how it's just rolling up, and it just, it looks okay. I mean, you can give it a little more roll if you see some of the frayed edges popping up, but it looks pretty tidy and everybody looks super cozy and it might be more of a winter look after we get the fur on yes there's fur but we're gonna start out first i think with this is an unusual color don't you think but i thought we should use that mustard and yeah everyone is looking pretty fancy yeah i could have made a dozen more combinations because i do have a lot of other pieces left over and i could have mixed and matched more of the colors brought some of these colors in this is the color that I used twice. It's a really good color actually. This dress is Naomi if you're wondering where all these blue dresses came from. It's from the girl who has this colored skin in the WWE line. Next up are the belts. So I have a few different kinds of combinations. I've chosen these star belts and I've chosen this leather for her I think and then I've got this elephant one. She's going to embrace her African heritage. We're going to put her in that. This one I love to use. I actually use this a lot when making. I think this works out so well because it's got two layers of diamonds and then we've got another layer of rings. Super 80s awesomeness. And I think that's going to go on her. And then I got this burgundy bejeweled bracelet that's going to make a really fancy belt and that's going to match up with her. She's going to be super matchy matchy. Yeah, I had planned to make a couple of them matchy matchy, but I think she's going to be all in burgundy stuff. For the belts, and you can see this in some of my other videos more in depth, what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to unclasp that from the leather and I'm going to cut it off and make it shorter and that is going to make the perfect belt. I think I take off about two inches on each and I use the existing clasps and it works out really well. This I am just going to take out some links from the chains. I'm going to take out all of this stuff and then just put the hooks right on there and put the chain end right on here and then that we're going to have an awesome belt. This again we're going to open up these clasps and then we're going to cut these off to the appropriate size and we're going to have our super nice belt there. Yeah here we're going to take out some links from this and maybe we'll be able to get a necklace out of this as well. A lot of these will have extra chains left over that we can use for bracelets and necklaces and that's what we will do and it'll complement each other if we take the same chains from the same bracelets. So yeah, I'm just going to remove all of these blue beads. We won't use these even though this color would work really nicely with the fall colors. Maybe we will put a blue necklace on somebody or something. All right, so that is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so the belts have come along and I made a few pieces of jewelry as well. So we ended up with this really nice belt. I like to keep the whole adjustment chain, whatever you call that, intact. And I just like how that hangs down. If you take it over to the side, you can have it hanging at the hip too if you want. But for this belt, you want this up front and center, this awesome elephant. And the stars turned out well. I had some extra chain on this, so I made two bracelets. They're fastened right to her wrist. Wrists don't come off on these dolls. Things are a little bunched up and thick around here, so look, you're using a lot of the chain, but it's basically the same size as that, depending on where you wear the belt, and that gives you room to grow or put it on different dolls, and the stars are looking real great on that outfit. Uh, this one's really earthy. They're all really earthy. I guess that's something about fall and really 70s too. The colors of leaves are very 70s. But look how awesome that belt is looking with all the little beads strung on there. And I'm just letting them go haphazardly because it just 
looks really nice and then I had to use the clasp off of another bracelet because the one on this one had to be cut off it was glued together so I did that and then I still had the clasp left over and I made that really nice necklace the ball mimics the balls in her belts looks really great and then she's looking really earthy just by adding the belt and the necklace is really big it was the other pieces that were on this belt it looks really good together I'm liking all the colors and it's making me like the long skirt even more she's some kind of hippie mom and then this is the outfit that is gonna be the showstopper I guess this is the end I don't know why I always feel I have to do a whole collection I should probably just focus on one doll when I make these videos why do I have to make so many at the same time and the way that these chains came together was super inspiring to me I had to take out a lot of these links for the belt but it's a really glamorous rich looking belt with all those gems in it so how it was made was each little thing was strung through the different gems in these so I realized I could take one of these earrings that I had and then do it the same way just string the earring through the same way now I didn't have a perfect color match they're a little more burgundy and then I only had a brown one but I don't think you're gonna be able to tell even when it's on the doll so I am going to pierce every single one of these dolls ears which I'm worried about but I'm gonna do it I don't really want to do it they are five dollar doll heads though so she's gonna look super super glamorous when she has those earrings in okay next up we're gonna add these I found these really thin ones and they make socks so I made sure that two girls had shorter skirts so I am going to choose the black and white ones which I already have some cut and I'm going to put them on these dolls like so you can either have them roll the way that you had the skirt roll or you can be really careful and fold them down over themselves and then that looks really really tidy so I'm gonna do that and they can work as leg warmers because I'm gonna be putting boots on probably the two girls that have the short skirts because the girls with the longer skirts the boots would be lost so I'll probably just put shoes on them that'll happen at the very end though or maybe not maybe I'll put boots on these girls right away since I'm putting on the stockings and I think I'm gonna bring out the fur next I guess first we're going fur and then earrings okay it's time to add the fur and what I have are a few scrunchies so there's this textured one it's very 80s I thought that that would look great with the green tones and there's so much you can do with it you can wear it around her you can wear it like a hat you can wear it like trim you can wear it over the shoulder you can wear it over both shoulders like a stole possibilities are endless I think I liked my first instinct even though that's looking pretty good I, oh, I also put their shoes on nude pumps uh, I'm not sure you can wear open-toed shoes but it seemed to fit her outfit so well I don't know if I'm gonna shorten the skirt or just keep it as is it's too bulky underneath her skirt though so I don't know what's happening there yet but she's very lucky she has all of these I have four brown ones oh wait sure the girl with the open-toed shoes she's the one that's going to get the most fur on her so you can wear it at the bottom wear it at the top we're losing her necklace because that's a lot of fur and the hat maybe this is a bit much she definitely needs better boots maybe i could put on a pair of black boots that i have with that no i think we'll take one thing off before we go out the door and keep it quite simple and she can have on this fur stole and wear it like that off the shoulders and look glamorous yeah yeah that's what we're gonna do with that wow wow she looks good and for her my intention all along 
not from the jewelry section. It's the only thing that's not from the jewelry section. From the craft section. I don't think I'm gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna just let it all be some kind of pom-pom craft thing. I don't know what you would do with this except wear it as a fur coat. And yeah, that is pretty fancy for sure for her. An African winter motif. I don't know, the white elephant, the white snow elephant. Really pretty. I also have something else here that I want to incorporate. These smaller fuzzy fluffy scrunchies or whatever you call these things, hair elastics. I think she can totally wear this as a headband. She is a winter African goddess. That is pretty cool. She's looking good. I put the black boots on her. I'm as surprised as you are as these are being made and how expensive this looks. It, look, it could be an integrity doll. It could be a special deluxe set. I'm thinking that's looking real good. Okay, and over here, I'm not sure you will agree with the boots, but I like this more casual. I even contemplated putting them on her because they would really match. And even putting them on her, maybe they could do a whole like work boot, Timberland kind of uh, ad campaign with these outfits. I think they would all be able to pull them off. But yeah, I gave her black and brown on purpose because a lot of people are afraid to do that. And I think that is a cool thing to do. I'm also going to bring in a black one of these more 80s textured ones to match hers, but in black. I think I'll just put that over one shoulder for her so she can just wear it like that. Hopefully the lighting will be good. I'm gonna definitely have better pictures of these on Instagram. That's a pretty cute outfit. It's casual. It's not working in the light, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cute. And then over here, I actually opened up one of these. I took it apart and it had this ribbon of fur in it. So I don't know, maybe I should do that for all of them. I kind of like that. The elastic is in them, but it is a matching burgundy fur. She can just wear it down like this. I'm going to pierce her ears. I'm going to pierce all their ears, and I'm going to put that at the end of the video. So if you want to take a better look at these girls, definitely want to check out my Instagram. I'll put on some really great pictures of them. And wow, wait till you see her with her earrings. Yeah, that is one glamorous look. So yeah, do stay tuned to the end and we will finish them up with your earrings and I'll give you a better look at them all. And yeah, check out the pictures on Instagram. That's just too hunky on Instagram. I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Okay, it's actually next day. I let stuff sit, and so I shifted some stuff around. It's good to walk away from something for the creative process, and then come back to it and be refreshed. So I'm really happy with them. I have to say none of this is really my style. Actually, I would say this one is most my style. I still have a couple earrings to put in. The earrings that I used like for this came in more deluxe packs. So they're kind of expensive, $2.50. But I mean, come on, to make these really great outfits. So she has the boots and the leggings and the skirt, the star belt. I changed her hat to black. And I mean, she's harder to see because it's black on black. But she looks really good with the black hair and then the crushed velvet stole that she has. Yeah, I don't even mind these little ridges it's what's cohesive again i don't i can't believe why do i do a whole collection i do like that we do have the matching hats and that they could walk down the runway together because they all match okay and then here is this winter elephant i like how this is all long like a trunk of an elephant i like that it's a white elephant i like her white stockings and her boots and I put a little pearl. This was actually from the backing of, I think, this earring. So it was it was attached to the, the backing. If, so you had a, like a pearl hanging down. But I just connected them and made this perfect white necklace for her from that. It has a nice ball chain thing going on. And oh, I added a bracelet. I squeezed 
this on. This bracelet is from one of these belts. Those belts are great because they're like $1.25 and there's so much stuff in them that you can take out and use. I'll give you a close-up of that and I put on these boots. Oh yeah, I changed some of their footwear. I decided that she couldn't have open-toed shoes in the winter time. It just didn't make sense. So I gave her the gold pumps and very earthy, natural, like this is probably the demographic of most of the ladies that follow me, so I think they'll all enjoy this. I'm talking to you, Nana. And then this belt looks so good with, like, the leather straps and the beads on it. And then I love the necklace. And then because all of the jewelry was um, thinner, I gave her three thin bracelets that I put on there. And then I gave her these flat earrings that came into a pack like this. And that's where we're going to get the earrings for her and her. Let's go back to elephant though, girl, because look, there are elephant earrings in there. Do you see those elephants? And then these ones are so like East Coast crafty. I don't know if in like Boston, but in Nova Scotia or Eastern Canada, this is what an affluent older lady will dress like. And I can't believe how it turned out. All the colors. We got the crushed velvet top of the blouse thing happening. And then her matching bracelets because I took them from one of those bracelets. Yeah, and then I gave her the black pumps because that's what I had. And I'm going to put in these really gross, super 80s reproduction they got this turn of the century look to them and that is something that i really like putting in the earrings is so hard i never know where to put the hole but i brought her out as a guide oh i just poked myself get a tack and then find the place where you want to put the earring i can't believe i do this it leaves such a little hole that you don't even see it and plus these dolls cost five dollars i don't even know if you can even see where the hole is. When you're looking for earrings, make sure you find ones that don't have a little ridge where the pin connects to the earring itself. These ones unfortunately do, so they're not the perfect ones. So she's gonna look better from the side than she is from the, because they're really poking out from her head. Yeah, I don't think I can use those because they're coming out too much. They look like headphones. That's not cool. Maybe this whole collection of earrings is like this. Sometimes they have more ridges than others. Yeah, it doesn't do it so much with the elephant earring. The elephant earrings look kind of odd, but that girl's kind of odd, so that'll probably work. This is not what I expected, so I'm just going to try more earrings. Okay, she's got diamonds in her belt, so maybe I'll put diamonds in her ears. These do protrude out a bit. Hmm. See, none of these earrings are laying flat enough. Oh man, I'm gonna go with these. Probably when you look on Instagram, I'll have some kind of totally different choice. But for now, no, I'm looking at her right now and it doesn't look too bad. I think these are the ones. Yeah. Okay, and for some reason, the elephant earrings look a lot better on her. The color of them have this greenish undertone, just like her dress. So it's really a fantastic match. The earrings definitely take them to the next level. Oh, her headband has to go down further. Look at the chain even dangling in the back there. So, so luxurious. And this one is the showstopper. And she really turned out super 90s, 2000s. Not an era that I like in Barbie, to tell you the truth. I know that most people do, because I think that was when Barbie was at her height. I can't argue that this looks the best, because it's mostly due to this incredible bracelet where I took the extra end pieces and I made earrings. They were even too long, so I took off an extra jewel and I added it as a necklace. Yeah, she just looks super, super expensive. I put a hair clip in her hair and I gave her the nude pumps, which they're the right tone, so they look good with this. Every time I do this, I get super impressed with myself because they look so expensive and all stuff from the dollar store.
Lots of pictures on Instagram, I'm sure, are coming up really soon. Too hunky. Make sure you let me know who your favorite one is, too. There are parts about each of them that I really like. I think this one is my favorite. I guess it's mostly my style. I like that we have a young, edgy one in here, too. Love you.